also in Iraq and Raqqa and Syria fall. And we can really, we can begin to talk about the beginning of the end of the physical territorial state. Already we have plenty of evidence that ISIS leaders are planning and plotting for the morning after, that the morning after the dismantling of the so-called Islamic State or the Caliphate. By reverting to its original form, which is urban guerrilla warfare, terrorism, and carrying attacks worldwide. ISIS had two years to plan its defense, and the group spent that time innovating its tactics and weapons. Thick armor envelopes car bombs. Bullets cannot penetrate them, so suicidal drivers tear towards Iraqi fighters, seen here in an ISIS propaganda video. In this urban environment, cars can appear from around corners just yards away. So crude barricades have been erected and civilians banned from driving. So even though the fall of Mosul, the most important city that ISIS controls in Iraq, and it's the facto capital, Raqqa and Syria, would really mean the beginning of the end of the physical state in Iraq and Syria, ISIS as a terrorist organization will likely be with us for several years because ISIS is a product of broken politics in Iraq and Syria, is a product of creeping sectarianism, the fragility of institutions, the lack of transparent government, the lack of national unity government, without really addressing these political and economic questions. ISIS and Al-Qaeda will likely be with us for many years because they find a refuge, they find a social base of support. And that's why at the end of the day, even if ISIS is dismantled as a state, as an Islamic state in Iraq and Syria, without addressing the social and political questions that have given rise to ISIS, I think ISIS as a terrorist organization will be with us for many years. Mm -hmm.